right, so what we're going to do now is create the rest of the pages, uh, create the HTML for those pages. Um, so we're going to use the index page kind of as a base. Um, so let's go to, we'll do the register page. So we're going to open that with Notepad++ and basically just going to copy everything we did for the index page. All right, and we're going to paste that in and we're going to change some things. Let's change the title. Let's say register with us. Navbar will be the exact same. Um, for, for the, the uh, main column, that has to change. All right, so the H1 tag will change that to uh, create an account. And we'll leave the H4. That's kind of like just a site slogan. Uh, I just thought it looked pretty good, so I just, I'm just going to keep that. Uh, and then the whole topics UL is going to go. So let me just take all the take that all out down to this ending UL. Actually, uh, we want to take away the form statistics as well. So that should be good. And the sidebar is going to stay the exact same as well. So basically, we just need to put a form in here. So I'm going to paste in our form. All right, so uh, the formatting is a little quirky here when I paste. Let me just fix this real quick. Actually, I'll leave it formatted like this so that you can see in case you're copying this. But if you're comfortable with HTML, and especially if you're comfortable with Bootstrap, then I, I would suggest just maybe moving on and just using the program files for this. I'm not going to make this perfect because we're not even um, keeping these HTML files. We're pretty much going to just grab parts out and paste them into our templates. All right, so basically we have a form and we're giving it this encrypted type, this enc type to multi-part slash form data. And the reason for that is that we have a file upload, all right, because we're going to have a, an avatar upload. So we need to have that in our form. Um, and then it's going to be a post method. It's going to ultimately go to register.php, which will actually process everything. Um, but this is just HTML. Uh, each field is in a separate div called form group, and that just gives it the bootstrap style. All right, so, um, and every input has a name. All right, so name, 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 email, and that's just what we're going to grab when we, when we use these fields in PHP. All right, so I'm going to save that, and this link here should go to register. And you can see that we have a nicely uh, formatted form, and that's because it's basically just using the Bootstrap CSS file. All right, so that's our create um, register page. Now let's do the create topic page. Okay, so create HTML. And again, um, let's see. I'm going to copy. I'm just going to copy the register page that we just did. All right, and we want to open up create and paste that in and change a couple things. Create a topic. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this form. So I'm going to start at form and go to the ending tag of form, which is right here take that out and I'm going to paste in a new form. Okay, so this form is really short and some of these things might change when we're actually building our application. Um, but for now it's fine. Alright, so basically we're going to have a topic title, we're going to have a category 
um, input, which is going to be a select or a, or a drop down box. Okay, I just hand type some categories here. And then we're also going to have a topic body, which in our application will be an editor. Okay, so you'll have like a kind of like a WordPress editor or Microsoft Word mini editor. But that's going to, we need to use, um, we're going to use a JavaScript program for that. And I'm not going to do that right now. Um, actually, you know what, maybe we should do that right now. So just to get it out of the way. So we're going to use um, a little script called CK Editor. And it's really easy to implement. All right, so if you go to ckeditor.com and we want to go to download, and you can basically choose basic, standard, or full, and they just basically have different options. I'm going to choose the basic, all right, because we just want just to to have them be able to use bold and italics, things like that. All right, so let's go ahead and download that. All right, so we'll open that up. And what you want to do is copy this entire file uh, folder into your JavaScript folder. All right, so inside of JavaScript, I'm going to take this and put it right in. All right, and after you do that, you basically just need to include the script. Uh, we're going to include it in our head area. And I'm actually going to take all the JavaScript that's in the footer down here and put it in the head because it won't work right if it's all in the bottom. Okay, so I'll paste that in and then we want to just include our editor's uh, script. So script src Okay, this is going to be in CK. I'm sorry, it's going to be in JavaScript slash CK editor slash CK editor dot JS. Okay, so that'll include the script for us. Now, all we have to do to implement it is go below the text area that we want to make an editor and just paste in um, or type in a one line script tag. Whoop. Okay, so in here, we're just going to type in uh, CK editor. Whoop. Dot replace. And then inside of this uh, replace function, we just want to put the name of the field that we want to add the editor to, in this case, is body. Okay, so we have name body. So we're just going to type in body. All right, so let's save that and see if it worked. All right, so now you can see we have our body area and we have this. Um, this mini editor we can use. All right, so that's very simple to implement. All right, so we have our register page, we have our create a topic page. Um, let's create, we should actually link all these together so that, so that we can navigate. Um, I'm going to link this the logo so that we can click on it and get back to the home page. We should add that on all three pages. All right. So now we should be able to get to the home page easily. or not create oh I was linking the actual logo we want to 
we're going to link home. Oh, it is. You know what? We I put a comma there. That's why it's screwing up. So let's just change that. I knew something wasn't right. All right. So let's go ahead and create our, our single topic page. Okay, so when we click on this, we want to be taken to that topic. Um, so we're just going to create um, topic HTML, open that up. And I'm going to copy any of these. You can just copy. I'm going to take the create page. Now I'm going to paste in the unordered list. Let's see. I want to get rid of the everything in the main column, which in this case is the form. All right, and let me paste this in. Okay, it's kind of like the home page. Um, we have an unordered list with the same ID topics because it's going to basically be styled the same. And then we have the first one has an ID of main topic. So we can differentiate that from the replies. Okay, because the rest of the items here are basically going to be replies. Okay, and if we look at the final page here, you can see that it's this is the list item. This one has an ID of main topic, so that's how we could grab that and make that darker. Um, pretty simple. And then we're going to have a form at the bottom, which I will do next. So right under the ending ul tag I'm just gonna put an h3 Let's say reply to topic and let me just grab the form and paste it in it's just a one column form and I'm sorry one field form and this is also going to use the editor all right so you can see we have a text area with the name reply uh, and then we have this dot replace reply now we got to make sure we include all the JavaScript at the top, um, which it already is because we copied the create page. All right, so let's save that. All right, so that looks good for now. Uh, one thing we need to do is change the heading. All right, so the heading should actually be the name of the of the topic which is, let's see, we'll grab this. Okay, I'm just going to replace that. All right, so there we go. Again, I know this looks horrible. Um, it's supposed to because we haven't customized the template yet. One thing I, I do want to do now is get an image, um, a default image, I guess, which is going to be this here. So I'm going to save this. I'll open it in a new tab and save it. And I want to save it in my HTML in my images folder, which we don't have yet. So let's create that. And then inside here, we're going we're going to save this as no image dot png. And you know what? I think that I had it. Yeah, I have it as uh, Gravatar, actually. So actually, let's change the name. We'll change it to Gravatar, so I have to go through and change every single instance. Oh, also, it's uh, using IMG for an image for a folder as opposed to images. So I'm going to change that as well. Okay, so now we should get avatars, which we're not. Image, gravatar. Did I spell it wrong? No. Oh, 
okay it's looking for a JPEG so that's no problem we'll just change this PNG to JPG now okay now they show up and don't worry about the size we'll be changing that in the CSS um, so that's it for the inner page HTML uh, obviously the next video will be uh, we'll, we'll customize our CSS and then we should be all done with this we'll be done with um, with the user interface and we can move on to PHP